looking for the one. We don't need a lot, we just need the one. But uh, no, we're, uh, we're, he's probably in the 390s, mid 390s. He might break that 400. He's a really, really cool bull. His G2s are probably 23 inches long. So he's a really, really cool bull. So we're hoping that uh, we can at least get some footage of him, but get him in the back of the truck too. That'd be a, that'd be a good plan too. So we'll, uh, we'll get after it and see what we can do. distance and see if we can get on him so breaking a sweat already had to strip down ready to roll We'll walk this. Don't walk this way. Just stay high. He's at the same elevation. Please just make him up. He's at least the next figure. He's at least see that figure right there. Mm -hmm. That's where he's at. On the other side of it. Yeah, we're in the shape though. at three, so around four, five, and six. It's gonna be west-southwest, and it's gonna turn around and do the downdraft and shift south. Okay, so the point being is that we're gonna have to come in from that way, this way to that point. We're doing that in the morning, too. Yeah, we're, we're gonna definitely have to come in. So we got the wind right there tonight, because it's gonna go yeah. from the west. But I still want, I still think, we need somebody at that point, that point, that point's going to be the critical one right here. Somebody's got to be careful because they could get winded right there yeah, at this point. There was elk on that point last night. Okay. 
Well, then maybe we'll leave them off that point. We probably got it covered up some ways on that point right there. And then something on this point right here. But it's it's now that you know they got that sun. We got a bed. We just missed them this morning. We just missed them. So we're not gonna go bump them out of his bed. What we need to do is frick at this get up in his business early this afternoon and then maybe we can peel him out with some cow calls, you know. You know what I'm saying? Try to get him out of his bed. We'll see. burn right before it breaks off up to the top to the rim. We're going to ease in real nice, uh, try to kind of cow call our way in real softly and hopefully we'll be able to get that bull to get up and bull at us a little bit and then we can get a location on him. Work the wind right, try to get in to get a shot. But uh, this is a fathead decoy and uh, as you can see with this this form on its face they really really, really work well. So. Uh, when I'm cow calling, I may slam this decoy up and a lot of times when them bulls will see it that it'll just help them feel a little bit less nervous because the, they're always looking for the cow. So we used them before. They just kind of came out last year and they've been a phenomenal um, you know, decoy to use. And again, we're going to try all the tricks. You know, this bull's really, really big and we really hope that we can get an opportunity to at least capture him on footage and hopefully we can kill him. So that's the plan this afternoon. Mm -hmm. 